Taking photos today became easy. Just grab your phone and take a great photo. However, have you ever thought how in the past they used to take pictures? Well, let's have a look at the history of photography. Early photography was slow. In 1826, this image, the first permanent, required eight hours exposure time. That's why you can see sunlight on both sides of the building experiments with silver compounds and shock will lead to a development of the daguerreotype. In 1839, this process made it possible to take portraits of people like Edgar Allan Poe or Abraham Lincoln. Photos wouldn't fade good if you want to remember what they look like. Unfortunately, exposure time was still half an hour that is a long time to sit still. They even used neck braces and drugs to keep people sedated. The second half of the 19th century saw advancements allowed people to reproduce photos. So you can start sharing them around and the exposure time got shorter and shorter meaning less sitting around. The first permanent color photos taken in 1861 color what the world really looks like. Photographers still had to prepare and develop their glass plates on the spot load usually in a mobile dark room. In the 80s, George Eastman, founder of Eastman Kodak, again revolutionized photography developing in the technology of film to replace photographic plates. This is a big step towards bringing photography into the mainstream. Then the 120 saw the invention of the first flash bulbs many can safely photograph in the dark. Before that, you had to use explosive magnesium powder. Which way to go is very little persuasion risky. The 20th century saw photography get faster, cheaper and more widely available. We had compact throwaway cameras, polaroids and suddenly revolution that was digital photography. Next time that you take a picture, consider how much history went into capturing that one moment.